Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, praises, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakal Kadash. Double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible. And Shalom to all you brothers pushing this word to the best of your ability. Yeah, man. So just want to get into this. Uh, you know, basically, the novel, not the world, man. You know? But you find there's a. Uh, there's a balance to this world, you know, with things that you got to do. But, you know, the things, uh, all the, the folly and all the, the bullshit, you know, all that, you know, just uh, cast that to the side. This is uh, 1 John 2 and 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Come on, what's in this world, man? You know, it's, uh, I say you to, to get money. You know, to get the, uh, the 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 top money, you know, you got to do do wickedly. You know, you got to sell out. You know, you got to sell your soul. You got to, uh, you got to trim your ways, you know. You got to, uh, you know, it's just, it's just folly, man. It says, uh, if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Fine. Because we, if we, uh, don't love the world, you know. And we're more about this work, more about doing the, the most high's work, man. You know, this is uh, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh. Come, like I was saying, the lust of the flesh, you know, you see these uh, you see these car, hey man, it's, it's something, man. You see these these cars, man, you know, you look at uh, you look at it, man, you see Esau supposed to be on the top, man. But Esau's over here driving all kind of buckets. But you got like Elamite coming over here. You know, he could work the same job. But uh <clears throat> he'll he'll have a damn Mercedes, man. You know, like damn it's a clean Mercedes, but you know the more the more that you uh you obtain in this place, the more you gotta spend you got more time that you gotta spend to keep that stuff, you know. The more time you gotta uh to spend at a job, you know. You know, these people uh, work. Yeah, these people work damn 12, 13, 14 hours a day, man. You know. This is uh, the lust of the eyes. You know, kind of, you know, this uh, uh, so-called fine female, whatever, man. You know. It's all people just getting things, you know, to try to... Uh, to look like, you know, to look like they, they got it, you know, to look like they got, uh, you know, what, what, what else, everybody else so-called wants in this world, you know, so, uh, and the pride of life is not of the father, but is of the world, God, so we, uh, if we bought, if we bought the, uh, the most highest work, you know, we're not going to have our, uh, Mine on the same stuff that we used to, you know. So let me see. Uh, and the world passeth away in the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. Gone. So you know that the elect is going to be doing the will of the Most High, man. You know. And they, they're they going to abide forever, you know. They're going to get the real the real glory, man. You know. And the, uh, he said, in this world passed away, you know, this is Esau's world right here that we living in, you know. And this, his world's passing away quickly before our eyes, man. You know, just they're catching all these curses. Like I was saying, uh, uh, like I was saying, man, you know, you see Esau over here driving these buckets. And you see these other nations like Elam. Driving damn uh, Mercedes, man. You know. So clearly, it's the end of the of, of Esau's world, man. You know, and the beginning of Jacob's is is following it as we speak. So, you know, so we uh, so like I said, we just uh, yeah, love not the world, man. You know, none of this BS that's in it. This is uh, James four and four. Ye adulterers and the adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with the Most High? 
Okay, so we go to immunity. The state of or feeling of being actively opposed or hostile to someone or something. Kind. So ho hostility, animosity, friction, you know. You basically going to be, oh, ill will, bad blood. You know, you basically going to be a... a It's a lot. Because you basically, you know, you're going to be opposed to the most side, man. You're going to be on the, the opposite side. You know, the opposite team. You know? The opposite team of Yahweh by Shemir Shai is, is not going to gonna win if you're an Israelite, you know? So, uh... Hey, Esau's the opposite team, man. You know, the damn wicked. You on the, uh, you on the opposite team. You know, you loving this, this stuff that's in this world, man. You know, so it's uh James uh okay come who whosoever therefore it will be a friend of the world is the enemy of the Most High. Ah, right, so like I was saying, man, you you gonna be an enemy, man. You know, if you put in your uh, if you really uh, you know, you see, you see what you see is uh. You love it, you know, a uh, uh, big house. You know, like, okay, I'm lusting after this big house. I got to I gotta get it, you know. And clearly, you see what time it is. You know, this, this, uh, all this is going to be dissolved, man. This is spoken in, in uh, Second Peter 3, 3rd chapter, man. So what manner are, uh, man of are we to be? So let's go, uh. Yo. This is a First Corinthians seven and thirty one, and they that use this world is not abusing it, for the fashion of this world passeth away. Right, so you know, we there's things that we got to do in this world, of course. You know, we got to go to work, or else we can't we can't eat. You know, you don't eat, you don't you're not gonna live. You know. You uh gotta uh have have a car, you know, to get around in this this place. You know, I mean, some brothers take a uh, bus, Bart and all. You know, but at some point, you know, at some point that uh you you're gonna notice, you know, to get a better opportunity, you know, you're gonna have to have a car. But uh, let's just read it again. So First Corinthians seven to thirty one. And they that use this world is not abusing it. God, so abusing this world, man, you know. Abusing it just uh just 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 doing you know, doing too much, you know. Uh for the fashions of this world passeth away. So I was like I was saying, uh you know, basically like we there's things that we gotta do, you know. We there's a business that we gotta handle. You know, there's a uh, there's a balance to it. You know, there's a balance. So there's, uh, you know, there's problems that we're gonna come across. You know, and then there we gotta handle those problems. You know, or else, you know, those problems could escalate to more problems. You know. You now when you look back, you'd be like, damn. You know, if I would have just handled this problem, you know, sooner. You know, instead of procrastinating, then. You know, the, the problem wouldn't be as bad. You know, the problem could have been fixed a lot easier. You know, so there's a balance, you know. Let's go into, uh, this is, uh, Proverbs 11 and 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, but a just weight is his delight. Huh, so, you know, if we ain't, you know, if we examine ourselves and we see that we're not, uh, well balanced and bam we gotta uh you know make that correction to be well balanced you know because you're not gonna you're not gonna uh just be perfectly balanced you know there's gonna come times where you're gonna have to uh make changes you know and do handle what you gotta handle this is uh to a balance you know uh like like a scale man you know 
you can't have too much uh you can't have too much weight on one side you know loving the world and you can't have uh too much weight on the other side you know uh doing the uh just do just trying to be all in this word 24 7 you know you know let me see let me see where that scripture is scripture popped up in my head uh Uh, be not. No, it's in Ecclesiastes kind. You know, so not being uh too much into this world, you know, and not being too uh into this uh this word, you know. It's got to be a, a perfect balance, you know. Every brother has his, his different balance. You gotta you gotta find your balance, you know. You can't go off another man's balance, you know. Another man might can uh could do certain things, you know, and still uh be on fire for the word, you know. But you know maybe you can't, maybe that's something that you can't do, you know, and vice versa. This is uh. Seven uh slucky Ecclesiastes seven and sixteen be not over righteous much make so neither make thyself over wise why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Gone. So you wanna uh try to just be over over wise, you know? Just uh <laughs> basically being a pilgrim, you know, to the world, you know. Yeah, I know. I know somebody like that. You know, they uh, they try to put away the fuck their cell phones and everything. You know, that, that that don't uh, that's not gonna work out. That's not gonna work out good. You know, I said use the world not as not abusing it. You know, use that use that cell phone that you have, man. That cell phone it has a lot of uh info on it. It's 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 not about uh, using the cell phone. It's about how you use the cell phone. You know. You know, you got people out there who really, they're like, oh, I don't want to touch the cell phone. You know, they basically want to be pilgrims. That ain't, that ain't how we supposed to be. You know, we got to have it. We got to have the, the cell phone, man, to, to, to uh, get us this news, to find out what times we living in. Or else, you know, the days of the Lord is going to creep up on us, you know. So don't be uh stupid. This is, uh, this is Ecclesiastes 7 to 16. Be not righteous over much, neither make thyself over wise. Why shouldest thou destroy thyself? Because huh, the scriptures say, you know, eat as much uh, honey as is sufficient for thee, you know. You, uh, another man, he may can, uh, he could do, uh, say, a bunch of reading a day or a bunch of, uh, a bunch of videos, you know. A man could do a video or two videos a day. But you can't, you know. You gotta, uh, you gotta pace yourself. You can't, uh, you can't, um, yeah, be be over much righteous, you know. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to do that too, you know. You gotta find your balance, you know. And you trying to uh, overly do it? That's a false balance, you know. So see, uh, so, you know, basically, you just gotta find. You gotta ask, ask y'all about some try to help you find your balance. You know, so see, uh, you know, cause it's, uh, you know, it's things about balance, you know, you gotta, uh, within the time you still gotta do your videos for the week, you know, you know, you might, uh, your camp might take a, a test, a weekly test, you know, get your test in. You know, and uh, and uh, what's it called? And uh, like I said, the bis business that you gotta handle, you know, you might have a uh, hey, the Shabbat might be coming up, you know, and you know, you ain't got nothing to eat at the house, you're like, damn, you know, you gotta uh, you gotta plan ahead, you know, okay, man, I gotta get something to to. Set me for this day, you know. I gotta get me some to uh, me and my family something to eat for this day, you know. Or, or uh, 
if you got two Shabbats in the, in a row, you know, you have to get enough to to keep you for for both of those days. You know, just some just some examples. Just putting out there. Uh... Oh, con. This is a uh, Second Timothy two and three. Therefore, thou therefore endure hardness as a good soldier of Yahushai Hamashiach. Huh, so you know we're uh gonna go through hard it's gonna be it's gonna you know through that that uh fire of adversity that you gotta catch you know that hell you know you still gotta have that that balance you know this is part of the uh the, the refining of us man you know we're gonna go through the hell and still at the same time gonna have to uh try to go through that straight gate this is uh no man that warreth entangleth himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him that have chosen him to be a soldier. Come. So now you all uh you know you having the fat false balance once again, you know. That false balance you're over here uh you can be uh doing something with the work. But instead, you know, you all off in the affairs of this life, you know caring about what a, a Kanye West do, do or Cardi B who, whoever man whoever these these clowns are nowadays you know whoever the hell these clowns are you just you just there's a balance to it you know there ain't nothing wrong with uh you know checking up on it a little bit but you just all off into it four or five hours out of the day you know like these these clowns on world star you know they'll have their uh their comments and you'll see they they they're on every damn comment board, you know, every uh minute of the day. You know? <laughs> that, that shit is crazy, man. You know, we can't be on that type of uh entangled into this world like that, man. You know? So let me see, uh Let me read that again. So second Timothy two and four. No man that wore it. Entangled himself with the affairs of this life, con. And we're not warring physically; we're for warring spiritually, man. I said these uh, demons and stuff coming at us. You know, we're not trying to chop them up with knives and shit, man. You know, the uh, scriptures say that uh, the word of the Most High is like a two-edged, sharper than a two-edged sword, man. So we're warring with these, with these. Uh, born with these demons with these scriptures you know these these demons out in the world you know we warn with them with these scriptures you know hey and if you are uh being entangled too much into the world you know what are you what are you going to war off war off that with you know with this word uh entangled himself with the affairs of this life that he may please him who have chosen him to be a soldier Gun. And you how by Shimmy Al Shai has chosen us to be soldiers. Like it says, endure hardness. You know, we're trying. We're trying to please the Most High. You know. Oh, you know what was that scripture? Uh, basically, you'll love uh one or hate the other. You know. Uh, damn. But basically, it's the scripture that says uh, in Matthew's, basically, you know, not love mammon, you know, there's money and all that, you know, but uh, either you'll, you'll uh, hate one master or the other, you know, and we fucking hate Esau, you know. This is uh so we're doing what we can to please the most high, you know, and trying to find that balance is a part of that. Trying to find your balance. And handle your, your worldly business, you know, and getting the hell away from that. You know, and doing doing this work to the best of your ability. This is uh second uh Corinthians 4 and 18. While we look not at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen. 
or the things which are seen are temporal. Kind of so, you know, your car, you know, your house, you know, your job. All that's going to be destroyed soon, man. You know? So we're looking, uh, you know, and there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing here that you look at, you know, that you actually want. You know? You don't really, there's nothing here that you should, should really want in the first damn place. You know? Ultimately, you look and what what we want, you know, what we really want, we can't have it here on this side. What we really want, you know, all this stuff is low level. What we really want in the kingdom, you know, is going to come in the kingdom. We can't, you, you're not going to get it on this side. But the thing, but the things which are not seen are eternal kind. And like it says, the uh, uh, eyes have not seen uh, nor ears have not heard, you know. We haven't even uh, begun to see. We haven't seen uh, a little, not even a little glimpse of the kingdom, man. We got no idea how spectacular it's going to be, you know. How extraordinary it's going to be. You know, and that's, that's ultimately what you want, man. Something that's eternal, man, not temporal. So, you know, just... uh. Let me see. Uh, okay, so let's go to uh, probably finish it off with this. This is uh, Mark. It's uh, Mark 4 and 19. And the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches and the lusts of other things entering in choke the word and it become unfruitful huh so we trying to we're trying to have this this word man for this day that's coming soon you know jacob's trouble these days that's coming soon you know we're trying to uh gather up what we can man for for those days for these times man you know because if you putting your mind too much too much into this world you know a false balance then, hey, when that time comes, man, you're going to be caught off guard. And, you know, and and this uh, word's going to be choked. This word's going to be choked out of you, man. You know, because all, all the cares of this world, man. You know. Satan. But yeah, you know, you so you're putting your mind too much in this this place, man. You know, you, the the word is going to be choked out of you, man. You're going to be unfruitful. The word is not going to be flowing in you, you no know, more. You know? So you just, uh, like I said, just pray to the most high, you know, that you find that the the perfect balance. You know? Because he'll, he'll, he'll give you, he'll, he'll give it to you, you know? Your perfect balance, where you're supposed to be. Yeah, man. So, kind that was uh, in my spirit, you know, I just want to throw that out there, you know, through the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, you know, and I want to thank also the water Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai for putting the Holy Spirit on me, the crocodile should do this lesson, you know, double honors to our elders and apostles for teaching us the truth of this Bible, and shalom to all you bros pushing this word to the best of your ability, shalom.